We found out earlier that Messi was not going to play this game, um, which completely shook our chances of having a complete outburst offense that we normally have. This was why I was worried about the situation like this. I'm watching these games, rooting for this team, and the back of my mind, I'm at, all I'm asking in return, do not let this man get hurt. And he got hurt. And that's why I was in panic mode when I was at the rugby game last weekend. Because I have I had tickets to go to this game. I went, I'm up to Central Florida, so I might as well go to this game. And then when I got to the stadium, it's been reported that he would not play. Yeah, that, that was the promise that I made the other day when I told you guys the reason why I was so worried about this. Not because of Orlando City themselves, but because I, because I, because not even my fault, I ended up not having my chance to see him on the road. Especially in Orlando. You know, the city that we never win. And tonight, that streak continues as we have, we have drew, we have draw yet again in Orlando, Florida. Both offenses just, well, actually, I shouldn't say both. It's my office just look absolutely weak. They were not able to get that last touch. Neither, in, in all fairness, neither can Orlando. Orlando would, could not get that last touch, and and but they were so close of doing so. They were close because of multiple reasons. Reason number one: their counter team, their counter attack is really good, and they are punishing. Now, number two: set pieces. Yes, the corner kicks were not great, but they still give you the nerve because Inter Miami is one of the most weakest teams to ever cover the the set pieces. That's it's been like this all season long. It's getting better, but you like to see them get get much better. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And number three, the passing IQ is just not good. It isn't. Anyway, um, Gillespie and Dre Calendar. We can we can begin. It's really not going to take that long, folks. It really it, it really won't. Um, key events. Yeah, the the first half the first half was really boring. It was it was it was one of, it was just one of the most stale stalest first halves I've seen in a long time. Um, you have a corner kick for Orlando City. The counter, like I said, the counter attacks has been really good for Orlando City. Um, Maguire was blocked. Um. And I, I guess I realized that there was uh, there's not much of a there was really not much of what's going on. But here's what I here's what I saw when I was at that game. I don't know why ESPN's not giving me the full thing. But here's what I saw at the game. I saw Inter Miami's passing go straight to the Orlando defender, and Orlando can protect the soccer ball, and they can get the corner kick each time. They and but all the corners that Orlando City has, Inter Miami concedes, either by Drake Counter or somebody else. Suarez had that touch, and he did not finish it off. He could not. He was just this close of finishing that ball at the other side. It was. It was. It was so close for Suarez. I'm like, are you kidding me? It was. It was our chance to sneak this one in. Next, Gillespie got hurt. Um, what was it in the? It was a second. Yeah, it was second half. Second half, he got hurt twice. So first half. Pretty stale. We can move on. Second half. Injury by Glaspie. He gets hurt. Um, one of our players, I can't quite remember who it was, but he was trying to look for the ball. They collided with each other, and no fouls been called. No fouls been called. So there's that. Uh, but he got but he got hurt. I'm thinking, and I, I even said this in a video, folks. I said this in a video. Hopefully he's okay. I'm not one of those. Uh, jerks that would say, yeah, Gillespie's heard. Let's, this is wonderful news. Like, no, I'm not going to be that kind of human being. Of course I want him to be well. Of course I want him to continue to play. For me personally, I'd rather beat them at their best. Anyway, fortunately for them, he, they were, he was able to continue. Um, more corner kiss for Orlando City. Um, and then there was the, and then there was that ball where, 
from the corner they just fall. They, they, I, I, actually, not the corner. There was a there was that ball from here to Miami where they were so close, but yet they just missed it. Just missing on the left side to get this one nil lead. I think I think in that part that was the closest that it's ever been to actually put that last touch into the back of the net. They were really close, but it just missed to the left side. My right side of the game. And you'll see what I mean when when the vlog comes up. Then the corner kick happens for into Miami. The ball goes in to the back of the net. But they call a foul on Inter Miami. I'm like, great. That's just great. And Orlando City, Atlanta City a little bit after that, or before or after, I forgot. ESPN just won't freaking report it for me. But Inter Miami gets hit from the counter. Orlando City all by himself. All by himself to get this one one goal lead. But Calendar with an amazing say and, and Drake Calendar. Drake Calendar was absolutely amazing tonight. He was absolutely amazing. There was times where Orlando was supposed to score a goal, but Calendar was able to get that reach to get the ball away to the back of the net. He was terrific. Problem is, the offense failed him. That's the thing. Um, yellow cards. There were, there were a few yellow cards. Starts off with Kermashi with the yellow card. It was, it was, it, that was bad. And Robert Taylor and Morell gets a yellow card. I think those are from the gestures. And there was some clear, clear contact foul. And, and to, be, to be fair with Morell, that was a bad, that was a bad call. That there was no way that he touched an Inter Miami player. And then, and the next one, clear and obvious that they, there was. And I don't know why Ferrer got a yellow card. That was a bad call. Uh, but multiple substitutions, including Jordi Alba. Welcome back, Jordi Alba. The game kind of came. The game kind of changed for a little bit for the for the better for Inter Miami. But in the end, they were just not able to get that final touch. They just were not able to get that last touch to get to the back of it. And there was six minutes of stoppage. And then Gillespie gets hurt again. But he was able to get back up a little, a little bit quicker than he did before. But there was six minutes left. Inter Miami had the ball. Just couldn't get to the back of the net. And Orlando almost had it to the back of the net. And I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be a draw unless we get one more attack. But then Orlando gets into the attack, and that ball just went nowhere. And the game ends. Final score of this game, no, no draw. There's really not much to say about this one. It's the same old thing. Into Miami, trying to get the attack, but gets countered. Orlando City, good good attacking team at this point. Although they took advantage of the fact that Messi's not even playing. But I digress. We did not lose this one. They're going to say Messi was scared. But yet, they forgot that we put five points on them months ago. Just saying. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to put the vlog up tomorrow. Um, I do hope you guys... Uh, at least come by and watch even even if Messi didn't even play I still went because I'm a fan of the team I root for this team I get pissed at the team I get happy with the team no matter if Messi was playing or he's not whatever the case that may be I still go for this team regardless because that's who I was from day one and my actions prove it my videos prove it for years ago Anyway, the next match is on Saturday DC, against DC at home. Hopefully, Messi's good enough to play that one. And, um, yeah, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you have a choice video, hit the like button, subscribe for content, because Miami TV is back. And we just hit the right thing with your favorite time you deserve. This is Miami TV, folks. Good night. Adios.